for a welcome. Mm -hmm. Welcome to a further session of David's dazzling documents at the Cornwall Record Office at Firth. Good to be with you all once again. On the table today, we have probably what is the oldest map in the entire Cornwall Record Office collection. In our last video, we showed a pedigree from the great Arundel archive that we hold here at the Cornwall Record Office. And this map is actually also from that Arundel archive. We think from other records that are in the Arundel archive and records external to Cornwall that it dates from around the year 1566. So that makes it a really ancient 16th century plan in our possession. If we have a look at it in more detail, there's some fascinating things that we can pick up. For example, you have three settlements. We have the town of Bodmin with the church with its spire. And then we have the village of Blisland. And also over here, we actually have the small settlement of Cardinham at that time. And this area is the Downs that uh, existed along the road from Bodmin to Launceston. This is the main road in Tudor times from Bodmin across Bodmin Moor, roughly following where it is today. Coming back to Bodmin, it's fascinating about the spire on the church because that was actually blown off following a lightning strike in 1699 and it fell through the church roof and caused an immense amount of damage. What's also interesting is that the map maker on both Blisland and Cardinum churches have actually put spires on the towers. And as far as we're aware, they never had spires. So is the map maker just following convention in order to make it look as if that's what maps of churches should show at that time. But also, you have a wide area through the centre of this plan. And we think this was a drover's road for driving animals and sheep that was significantly wider than the normal roads that there were at the time. We also have a gallows shown at this um, end of the road here. And there's no size of scale or date um, in the like we would have on an ordnance survey map. The, the gates of the fields are shown extraordinarily large as they lead into the, into the settlements. And also here we have the manor house of Deviok, the Courtney's manor house of Deviok in Cardinham, and Deviok Wood is also shown. So for instance, a mile might say be this area over here, and the same distance on the plan over here might in fact be three or four miles. So there's no sense of um, scale whatsoever. It's interesting that the map has an oval shape. If we look at the um, maps that are in so some of the places like Map of Mundi, which is in Hereford Cathedral, they have this round world view. And the map maker is following convention by having it in this sort of round, rounded state. A lot can be learned from just studying um, what these areas were like geographically. But a, a little word of caution, don't take the detail on them as being necessarily 100% accurate. They had no concept of ordnance survey in 1566. One final thing about this, which is absolutely fascinating, and I'm going to pick it up to show you. Up here, if we hold up to the light, we have an urn watermark just to the left of where my thumb is. From other um, types of watermarks on documents, this is a French watermark from about the year 1535. So that helps us to date this paper as being made possibly in the mid 1530s. Did they save it up a long time before they made it into this plan in around 1566? It's a bit of a mystery, it's a slightly 30 year gap. But it's one of the things archivists are trained to do when they interpret records and actually attempt to date them. Enjoy.